Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading with predictions for the month of November. Now I really want to say that this reading is for a general audience. There are three piles here. This is pile number one, this is pile number two, this is pile number three, and this is my wand <laughs> that I'll be using. I actually and surprisingly, I have a lot of energy right now because I've been doing readings mostly all day and we also had a shop update today, so today is pretty busy. But I used this specific intention oil that I created for myself. It was a custom blend. It was kind of like an emphasis, an addition of um, like a tweak to my Pluto Death oil, but I added uh, some energy earlier today before I got started I was letting it sit and absorb and then I used it just now and then all of a sudden I had all, all this energy so shout out to my custom oil that I created for myself to help you know work with these energies right now because they are really coming through very powerfully and I'm that's why I'm using the wand to direct that energy so that being said this is pile number one this is pile number two and this is pile number three go ahead and take your time or pause the video if you need to and I'm gonna go ahead and get started so, for those of you guys that pulled pile number one, I haven't seen these cards, but what we have here is gratitude. We have ambition. Wow. It's not as if you need anyone. What would love do? Everyone is doing their best. From the zombie tarot, oh my gosh, ace of cups. Whoa, stop right here. Do you guys see my hands? This is like how it's been like for me just within the last 45 minutes. I feel like surges of energy. Like, and why is this not focusing? <gasps> oh my God, do you feel it? Like literally I'm not making this up. It's the Ace of Cups, you guys. It's such a surge coming through right now. Okay, okay, let's move on. Okay, wow, not surprised. Ten, oh, I'm sorry, the Tower card, the Nine of Wands, and also the High Priestess. This is something that you knew. I'm really getting that sense. This is something that you knew. This is something that's been in the works for a long time for you. This is something that you've been striving, striving, pushing. Oh, my God. Striving and pushing and trying. And just like that phone call came in, it's going to come in. It's going to come in like a text message. It's going to come in like a phone call. This is something that is rare. This is something that you've really been waiting, that you've been putting, you've been trying your best for so long. Doing it all on your own. And it's your ambition that is literally going to be the gift that comes, um, not that comes through to you, but because of your ambition, you are going to receive this. This Ace of Cups has so much power behind it, you guys. When I actually held it up, the camera went out of focus. I've never seen that, and my hand started shaking because this is something that you've been feeling intuitively, that you've had this sense. It's like uh, the bumblebees on my sweatshirt. They have a sense to, you know, um, to, to follow their vibe, to follow where they're pulled. What are they attracted to? And it's not, it's, there's a whole lot that people don't understand. There's a whole lot that people don't know. Why are you doing this? Why do you love this so much? Why is this so important to you? I don't, it just, it's what I, it's what I love. What would love do? This is what I would do because I love it. This is something that is not for everyone. It is rare. That's the word, rare. This doesn't happen to everyone. This doesn't happen all the time, but it's going to happen for you. It's gonna happen in the month of November. I really, truly feel that. Ace of Cups is sometimes an offering of love. I, I have the romance, two rom romance cards here. I haven't pulled them yet. But with the Ace of Cups, this is something that is rare. It's unique, it's authentic, and it's yours. But it doesn't come around often. Emphasis on the word rare. What does that mean? That means we don't see this all the time. This doesn't happen. We wait for things like this. It is our ambition, our heart that pulls us or makes us things that we don't even, that we can only sense, things that other people don't see and can't understand and don't feel. Why? Because it's not theirs. It's yours. It's rare. It's unique. It's destined for just you. It is so powerful. It can't be hurried. It can't be rushed. But I'm seeing it coming in. I'm seeing that for a long time, you've been putting your effort, your work into this thing. You've been ambitious. You've been trying so hard. And even accepting, I don't wanna say less than, but just accepting what the universe has been giving you. And you've just been like in a space actually of gratitude saying, you know what? 
I've been doing my best. I could be frustrated, but I, I trust. I just have this sense. It's like bumblebees. Again, they, they can touch something, they can touch the ground, and they feel everything through their senses. This is you through your third eye, through your crown chakra, through your heart chakra. These are things that you've been sensing intuitively. They're on the horizon for you, and just like a phone call, just like that, overnight, everything changes. I really want to go back to the word rare. This is like something so rare, so different. Why, why do we call it rare? Because it, we, we literally, we don't see it. We, like, we don't see it very often or else it wouldn't be rare, it wouldn't be unique, it wouldn't be magical, it wouldn't be a miracle. And that's what this is. And because it's rare, because we don't see it all the time, sometimes you have to wait. Sometimes you have to wait to see the signs, but you stay waiting because you feel called, because you are, you're sensing it. You're sensing it on all of your intu intuition, all of the senses God has given you, all of the senses the universe has given you, have called you to be in this space at the right place at the right time. And just like that, it comes in like a bolt of lightning. With this nine of wands here, it really connects me to the card of everyone is doing their best. That includes you. So you've just been sitting there doing your best, keeping your guard up, keeping your defenses up, and just waiting, waiting for this shock to come in, waiting for you know, your ambition to pay off, waiting for this rare um, moment to happen. And you can just sense it, you can sense it, it's quiet. And while you're sitting there, you might even have moments where you question yourself, is this actually gonna happen? I'm sitting in the dark. You have to trust your intuition more than you can trust anything else. You have to trust your, your senses, you have to trust, sometimes you might even see um, signs of it, confirmation in the actual chart. Now I really feel called to look at the romance cards. Oh, see, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life and then also wedding. The situation involves marriage. So, I don't know. I feel like when I'm seeing everyone is doing their best and I'm seeing the nine of swords, I'm sorry, nine of um, wands, and maybe some of you guys, you've been feeling nine of swords energy where you're feeling anxious and you're like, how is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? With the codependency card, I feel, it's interesting because I feel like when I'm seeing codependency, I'm hearing, okay, if I was to, meaning I, you, if you were to listen what, to what other people are saying and what other people are doing, you would be reliant on their outcome that they see for you. But you have already committed yourself, like your path, your destiny, your heart is pulling you to something that you have been like already karmically or is already cosmically destined to you, already chosen you. It's written, like it's written in concrete, it's written in the stars that this thing is for you. It's rare, it's like once in a lifetime. Ace of Cups could be love, but for some of you guys, I'm actually seeing um, like fame, fortune, destiny, recognition. I don't know why the word um, survive, survival came through, but it's like, almost it reminds me of like Survivor or like Naked and Afraid where you've been um, in these this environment that it just seems so bleak and you're, up to, you're left to your own defenses to follow your intuition to make it through and once you do, you just like, you hit like, you, you hit the jackpot. I don't know why survival, like Survivor came through. Like I am a survivor. I am a survivor. It's my ambition that got me here. It's because I wanted this so badly. I wanted this so badly, I never gave up. Literally, nine of cups, I'm sorry, nine of wands, <laughs> see? Nine of wands is I don't give up because I'm going to get to the nine of cups. I'm going to get to my happily ever after. I know that it's gonna come to me. Even in the moments where I am not believing it, I still exchange my disbelief and I give gratitude back to the universe and that's what's actually going to help it. I really wanna go back to this. It's rare, you guys, it's rare. So that being said, if it's rare, this doesn't show up on clockwork. It doesn't show up like a bus. It doesn't show up, okay, 6.30, I know that it'll show up and it'll arrive. It'll show up when it shows up, when the timing is right. That's what makes it so rare. That's what makes it so unique. That's what makes it so different. That's what makes it a miracle. It's rare because not everybody can have it. It's rare because it is yours. It's rare because you've been wanting this. And it's not so much as, as what you can do to force it to come in, it's timing. It's timing. And this, I really wanna say with this card, that it seems like it's not on the way, 
it seems like you might not see this now, but it is it's it'll literally come in like this. The tower card, a bolt of lightning, a, a strike out of nowhere. And if you need confirmation that it is on its way, just rest in this Ace of Cups energy with your head, just listening to your senses, listening to your third eye and your crown chakra telling you, listen, have peace and have faith in and gratitude for what things look like right now. Because you want you might not be able to see it with your physical eyes. You might not see the evidence, but don't look for the signs of it. Feel it. That's how rare this is. I'm really getting like this sense of what are your senses telling you? Like, even, I mean, come on, High Priestess is here too, saying this is not something that is always seen. It's not always of this light um, variety. Sometimes it's the shadow, it's the senses. That's where it's gonna come out of, is the senses. You're gonna sense it first, and it's your intuition that's going to tell you that this thing is on its way. And when it comes in, bam. Wow. It's not as if you need anyone. It just goes to show like, this is yours. You never really needed anybody, you needed yourself. You needed your ambition. You needed your, your goal, you needed your vision, your focus. That's all you needed. In fact, that, that codependent energy, that listening to what others, it literally all just makes you kind of co-sign what others see for you and what others feel for you. But that's, that's, not, that's not the B, that's not sensitive, that's not intuitive. You have a bigger purpose you are actually gonna link up with people who match your energy because they're all kind of conjugating in the same area. And if it's a partner, if it's true love, then that person senses the same thing and the two of you guys just come together, boom, just like that. And here we are. Being codependent on the opinions of other people is only going to stop you. It's not as if you needed anyone. You've never needed anyone. You only needed yourself. And some gratitude. And your heart, what would love do? What would love do, that's what I'm gonna do, is what I love. So that's what I'm seeing for, <laughs> wow, shit. I was not expecting that. <laughs> um, really what I wanna say is, back to the word survival or survivor, you've really come a long way and sometimes you're not gonna see it, things are happening. Just know that this card and that the fact that you picked number one is confirmation that this thing is on the way. It is on the way. That's what makes it so rare, is you just don't know when it's gonna show up. Again, it's not like a bus or a train. Okay, six o'clock, seven o'clock, everybody can stand on the platform and wait for this thing to come in. We all get on. Nope, this is a chariot. And it shows up and it says, hey, is Sophia here? Like, well, as a matter of fact, I am. Whoa, these cards almost fell out. Um, I'm sorry guys, my phone is... <sighs> Notifications keep coming through. Okay, for those of you guys that picked number two, group number two, I have not seen your cards, but let's go ahead and pull them. Boom, we have, aw, true love. Jesus, my phone is ridiculous. Sorry guys, I try to put it on do not disturb and quiet and my phone's like, okay. Um, okay, so true love empowerment okay stop as I'm having this card as I'm holding this card I'm getting with the card empowerment I'm sensing um, rebirth I'm sensing revolution Jeez. sorry guys my phone's blowing up jeez I can't even like make it quiet because okay there we go I'm sensing revelation revolution um, empowerment, lightning bolts, Uranus, the planet Uranus, it's coming, wow. You guys saw me put it on silent, right? Um, okay, so I'm sensing revelation, revolution, a bolt of lightning coming in like lightning, like out of the blue. Almost kind of like group number one, but this is internal. This is an internal shift. This is, you're like, you're being reborn. That's what I'm seeing with, with um, empowerment love in spite of it all then we have yeehaw what you give will come back that's a part of the revelation i feel that that's a part of the revelation i also want to take my wand and i want to 
like draw you guys know I do um, automatic writing but I, I want to draw the infinity sign the number eight it's the number eight pushed over on the side it's what you give comes back to you what you've put out comes back full force that's a part of the revelation the revolution you without me even going any further what you give will come back when it comes back you're like yeah love in spite of it all it seems like it's not coming in it is but when i'm getting the word when i'm seeing the word empowerment i'm seeing a revolution a cycle of power is ending here something is definitely ending why is it a revolution because it's been set in stone it's the the forces that be the powers that be that has to end number eight transformation we're in the sign of at the time of me making this video it's um scorpio season so we're working with a lot of death rebirth but that shows you even more it's about power manipulation control um manifestation abundance manipulation in ways that is positive, not destructive. If it's destructive, it has to go. That's why it's a revelation. That's why it's empowering because you are no longer falling victim to it. You're no longer under its power. You're no under, you're no longer like the same thing that was toxic to you, the same thing that was poisonous to you now becomes medicine because you are empowered. Because your perspective has changed, it's shift. What the energy that you've put out, now it comes back. And it's exciting when it comes back. This is a break and a strike free from your normal. This is a strike from what you've become accustomed to when it comes to true love, when it comes to romance, when it comes to the things that it is that you love. You have to be so willing to let go of that because when you're holding on and you don't let go of it, you stop that cycle, you stop that flow. Even as I'm sitting here, all I wanna do is make this go back, like and go back and forth. It's, it's like um, automatic writing when you allow energy to just flow through your hands. You have to keep your hand light because when it's light, you're not forcing it. So it allows energy to flow through you. That's what I'm seeing. And through that um, ability to let go, you are empowered, you receive. You receive everything that you've been putting out there. It just comes right back to you, not because you forced it, but because you've matched the frequency of it, because you deserve it, because you put it out there, and naturally it's yours to get back. There's a quote that just came to me. Everything that I require, Wait, everything I require is what I'm capable of giving. Everything that I need is what I'm able to do and to give. So what you're asking of another person, what you're asking of your job, what you're asking of this, I don't know what it is yet because I haven't pulled the rest of the cards, you guys, I'm just channeling. But um, everything that you are asking for are things that you should ask for and then some because you are capable. You of all people are capable you're being revolutionized. You have been revolutionized. You're stepping into this new sense of power. It's the end of the old power and the rise of the new power. And this is empowerment. Yeah, empowerment. All right, what else do we have, right? <laughs> yep, two of hazards, two of pentacles. Two of pentacles is literally someone juggling. It's that infinity sign. Didn't I say that? I didn't even see these cards. And I just started doing that number eight on the side. I'm seeing you kind of juggling. So the two of pentacles is sometimes the card of juggling, but more than that, it's about, you know, creating, you know, manifesting, somehow using the forces energy around you in order to cre complete and create a new cycle. This card, this gr group number three is just trying to jump out so hard. Like, what do you need to say, group number three? Like, group number three is lit right now. Anyways, um, so yeah, Two of Pentacles is all about, if you ever look at the Pentacles, they really do make that infinity sign because something, it's like energy being exchanged, given over here in order to create, in order to manifest. It's a new cycle that's being created, a new sum. Oh my gosh, I'm done. The world card, wow. What else do we have here? Yeah, Five of Swords four of swords this is about you realizing that you actually don't know everything in your this is what i'm getting this is you realizing that you don't know practical like your practical brain your human brain does not understand the spiritual side of yourself and spiritual like energy like it's understanding it and gaining understanding but there's a a, a side of you that really needs to relinquish and let go of expectations of how you expect things to be and also energies that are blocking you and locking you up if you are so busy serving and working with five of 
five of swords energies you're working with people and things that are combating against you put that sword down and rest so that the cycle can be complete so that you can manifest and get back into that infinity that infinite loop of okay what i put out i'm going to get back what you give will come back and it should it should not be you you know being on your defenses or other people being defensive with you if that's the case they're not on there's the same level, the same frequency that you need to be on. And the fact that you're still lingering with them shows you that you actually need to rise up. It's the end of the old power, the end of the old cycle, the start of the new cycle. That's why this is a revolution because it's being a, it's a revolution from how things have been so that new things can come through. And when that stuff does come through, that's when it's exciting. Yeehaw. Here we go. Let's go. We've got this. We have this movement, this momentum love in spite of it all this is what the five of swords cannot do the five of swords cannot love in spite of it all because the five of swords is working with ego only can't relate honestly i can't relate to that and in a lot of ways i feel like you can't relate to it anymore that toxic bond that manipulation that power control that ego nope i can't relate to that literally that's the end of that old cycle and i'm starting over new empowered empowered because that is what's going to connect me to my truest desires my true love that's why i'm going to love in spite of it all in spite of all of this bullshit instead of all of this i'm actually seeing the biggest gift for you is revelation and you being like energetically you're being taken to the next level let's see what romance cards i have you have for you oh my god <gasps> stop you have double true love you guys you have double true love this is so beautiful. What a beautiful thing. What a beautiful cycle to walk into. That is so beautiful. And the crazy thing is, is that the world with the world card, it's the end of the cycle, but it's never truly the end because right afterwards, that end comes right back around. Whoop, and then you're in the fool. New cycle, new journey, new life. And it has everything to do with true love. The energy that you've been putting out there, this romance, this love, it's not about forcing it. It's about just being in a position to receive exactly what is yours and letting go, relinquishing. You have to be really willing to let go, definitely, with the world card. Because even here, he's got two little wands, he, she. These angels don't have any gender. But they have two different wands that they're holding on to just to, just to co-create. What you give will come back. That is what is real. That's what's happening here. The end of the old starts the brand new, and it's just like that. That's what you're going to see in November. That anything that you let go of, you're going to connect instantly to your true love. You're going to see signs of it. It's going to be manifesting. It's going to be co-creating, and you're just in the process just being like, yep, I'm going to love in spite of it all. It seems like there's not a whole lot going on when, in fact, everything is going on right now. You have so much of this going on. Isn't that funny that I started the reading going like this? <laughs> wild thank you guys so much for watching um, my number twos and make sure that you're subscribed and leave you know some comments down below or some love down below if you like this and i will see you in my next video i'm gonna move on to my number threes all right you guys i had to pause the video really quickly but number three your deck has been trying to jump out this entire time like the rest of these energies are really powerful, but yours is like, look at me, look at me, look at me. Like, literally, look over here. I'm trying to draw your attention. Like, okay, number three, calm down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, I haven't seen these cards yet. We have, wow, trust. We have solitude. Okay. You'll find what you seek. Be true to yourself. Stop. Okay. I don't need to go any further. I'm going to stop right here. Okay, I'm getting um, purification. Oh my God. Okay, so what I'm seeing with this card is, so now I feel quiet. That's so interesting. It's so interesting, number three, because your group has been the loudest. And somehow when I'm talking to you now, you're the quietest. It's very like citrine. It's very like solar. It's very, I'm the light. It's my time. I want to shine. And then you shine and you're like, you embrace it. You enjoy it. 
Wow, look at my candle. See, everything is literally drawing. Do you guys hear my candle? It's, I don't know if you guys have seen the other readings, but this is the loudest that the candle has been. It like wants to be seen. This is you guys, it's funny because you want solitude, but in so much you're, you're being like, I need to be seen. I need to be heard. Do you guys hear my candle? I'm sorry, I had to put it out because it's gonna, it's probably gonna crack the glass. I'm not kidding. Yep, it's probably gonna crack the glass, wow. All right, <laughs> number three is let's go, right? So, as I'm sitting here, the word is purification. I, that was one of the words that came through for me, for you. Number three is purification. It's, well, I need to sit with this for a second. Why? <laughs> As the train honks in the background. What I'm seeing is, wow. See, my hands are shaking. Okay, so solitude. When you, okay, guys, hear me out because you're the first, you're the one that's going to be the first to be seen. You're the one that needs to be seen. You're the one that needs to be heard, obviously. But more than that, bef like at, before that happens or as that's happening, you need to actually plug in. You need to plug. What does that mean? What I'm seeing, okay, I'm getting like electricity. I'm getting lights. I'm getting citrine, the sun like sit like um being like the sun the, the center of the universe the center of our solar system and but in order for for this light to come to you because there's this emphasis on being light being seen being heard being felt being understood standing out in your own way in order for that to happen in order for things to plug in there's things that are blocking the the electricity from flowing it almost reminds me of something that short circuits it's like i've never done this before because it's dangerous as fuck but i've heard about it but when people take a like a, a, a wire and they plug it into this thing is still smoking so much i don't know what's going on with the candle but this is super rep representative of what you guys are going through but um it's like when you take a wire and you plug it into an electrical cord so when you plug the the, the cord into the wall to give light to give electricity it sparks and it goes and it just fires out and it backfires and it's very dangerous I'm actually seeing that's what purification is. Something for you is cleaning the cord out. Something for you is being rewired. Something for you, there actually needs to be solitude and quiet in the moment because you are about to shine. You're about to be that brilliant self. I'm seeing this as the moon, but more than that, I don't see the moon. I see the fact that the sun has reflected off of the moon. This is the full moon. This is you coming to light. This is, it's my time to shine. It's my time to be heard. It's my time to be seen. I'm going to channel, or your angels and your guys are going to make this candle be the brightest that it's been the loudest that it's been at the same time you're plugging in you're connecting to solitude you're reconnecting to yourself in order to prepare for this center of attention and in the meantime you need to be true to yourself you need to honor yourself and share your light that is where you're at right now it is your time to shine even as a moon even as an intuitive even as an introvert even as a quiet person still people need to hear from you they need to see you they need to know your gifts you need to offer your gifts you need to put yourself out there you need to try again you need to feel good about yourself yes you can be the moon but the sun at some point is going to shine all of its light on you and you are going to reflect it back what's going to look like be true to yourself unplug anything that is taking away from you being able to be a like a hypercharged individual so that you can light a whole house up because it's only one tiny thing one tiny thing that's been zapping you and backfiring and actually has been quite dangerous but you've learned to pull it in your solitude to pull out and to reconnect so that everything can be light light um lit up again I don't know why the card trust is here. It almost feels like some of you guys, no, nothing more needs to be said with that besides just trust in yourself and just trust the process and trust the journey. It almost seems as though you're so used to things plugging in or you trying and plugging into something and giving all of yourself, giving your light and you expecting that backfire to come through. But that's why purification had to happen. 
because you, those past experiences, they don't, when you have someone and something come in, the right thing, it's not going to backfire. It's not going to create an explosion. It's not going to create a house fire. It's actually going to light the house up in a way that people can see and move around and feel secure within their home environment and read books at night. But you're so accustomed to you plugging the thing in the wall and you getting electric, like shocked by electricity or it backfiring and somehow you have a house fire in your hand and you're just being like, I need to be seen, I need to be heard. Too many of you guys have been overlooked. Too many of you guys have been sitting in the darkness, obviously with solitude. And now you need to trust the fact that when this light shines on you and when you're chosen, when you are seen, when you are heard, that person genuinely is investing in you, that person genuinely likes you and appreciates you, that person genuinely wants to pair up with you, or you're doing this for yourself, and you're like Leo Energy, starting a YouTube channel, being a singer, um, putting yourself out there, putting out a new office proposal, getting um, a, um, a raise, you guys were the loudest on the entire card deck. This thing I had to, your, your cards kept on trying to jump out this entire time. And I had to like stop them twice for every other reading. And then when I get to you, all of a sudden it gets quiet because you're like, wait, I don't trust this. I bet. <laughs> every time you plugged in, something happened. Every time you tried, it backfired. Every time you tr tried to give someone or you believed in it and you were like okay this is it it blew up in your face but trust november is the is the time of the the year for you where your biggest blessing and the biggest prediction is that the light is going to shine on you and you're going to have to trust what you can do and you're gonna have to trust what people say is solid i didn't even look at the rest of the cards here oh okay you'll find what you seek why because the lights are on why because you've been sitting in the darkness the entire time and when the sun when the light lights you up moon moon babies lunar babies out there introverts quiet people people that have been healing people have been had wounds that have been festering that they've been taking care of and um putting you know like ointments on them and speaking life over yourself and healing those things you'll find what you seek why because you have the light to look for it others will find what they're seeking because you're lit up they can't find that in the darkness or if they do, it's gonna take forever. So I'm just seeing in November, there's a light that's shining here and it's coming from you and when you when it shines on you, it's almost like a reflection. Because the moon gives her a light, but a part of that light comes from the sun. So this light comes on and it beams on you. And you're like, oh my God, there it is. You'll find what you've been seeking. I think for a lot of you guys, it's like fame and success. Others, it's recognition. Others, it's like, oh my God, finally. There you are. Oh, look at that. Create space for new love. This is very fifth house. I'm seeing so much of solar energy. Fifth house is ruled by the sun. And creative projects and, you know, passion projects. I want to do this because I love it. What else do we have here? Oh, right. You guys were the ones with all the extra cards that I haven't seen yet. What do we have here? Oh, wow. Justice. Page of Cups. Look at him. Look how innocent he is. He's so innocent. We don't want to electrocute him. Look at that face. Look at that face. That is the creepiest, cutest face I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my God, he's so innocent with his little sand pail. What happened to you, bud? I think that's the other thing too. That's, that's what I want to ask. What happened to you? What happened to make you so scared? Talk about it. I don't even say, I don't even think that it's like, oh, I need to finish healing it. Part of the healing is showing what you can do. It's not always about being in solitude all the time, being a recluse. It's, you know, trying again. Because with Justice card, it says, listen, some things have been unfair, but we are gonna make sure that things are fair this time. Because you shouldn't have, you, it shouldn't, it was not fair and not okay that every time you tried, you would get, you know, backfired. You would get punished for something that you didn't do. Look how innocent this kid is. Like, that's you. Literally. Or this person's coming through like, hey, you want to play? No, buddy, I don't want to play. <laughs> like, that's not fair. He's innocent to you. He's, his in intentions are innocent. And then we have the Queen of Cups who's just observing all of it. And she says, it's okay, Timmy, just, just try. And it, so many of you guys, you guys are ready. Literally, she's just like, I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to enjoy the sun. I'm ready to enjoy the light. 
I'm ready to go on to the beach and be by the water and feel my feelings and just frolic and enjoy these things. Enjoy having fun, being playful. Because that's what's fair too. It's not meant to be pain and punishment all the time. It's not meant to backfire in your face every single time. And maybe, maybe some of you guys, you think like, okay, karma, like I've done bad things in the past or I've done things that I regret. So maybe I don't deserve that. Stop. Like you've served your punishment. You've done, you've served your time. Go out and have fun again. Please enjoy your life. It's not always about you being, you know, disempowered, disembodied, disconnected. All right, what else do we have here? I'm actually scared to pull these cards. I don't know why. Ugh, I don't know why I'm so hesitant. Watch them be like the best cards ever. I don't know why I'm so hesitant. Okay, yeah. Look, Page of Cups again, so innocent. Queen of Swords, Page of Wands. So yeah, it's like something is coming through and your rational mind, your rational thinking is like, skirt, nope, been there, done that. My experiences have taught me otherwise. The answer is no, I do not do any Page of Cups or Page of Wands energy that is beneath me, that is below me. I'm Queen of Swords, disconnect, removed, cancel, cancel, cancel. <laughs> Literally, that's you guys. Nope, uh-uh, nope, I've seen this before. Last time someone came up and gave me a bouquet of roses, Last time someone said, hey, do you want to travel with me? Hey, last time someone said, hey, girl, you want to hang out? They canceled the plans, and I was just sitting there all by myself. I went to the bar. I was looking cute, and they never showed up. Nope, uh-uh. Nine. <laughs> Some of you guys just start speaking German. Uh-uh, other languages. No, nada, nine. Nish kit, not good. <laughs> when the reality is, is put that wand down. Put that sword down, mama. It's safe. It's time. Just say yes. Queen of Cups, not Queen of Swords right now. Some of you guys actually maybe do need to Queen of Swords it. I just had a reading earlier today where someone was like, I'm not comfortable with the Queen of Swords. She's such a biatch. Well, I said that technically. I was like, I know the Queen of Swords can be a biatch sometimes, but it's necessary. But it's time for you to create space for new love. Queen of Cups, she's ready. She's ready to consume. She wants to enjoy. Life has been hard especially with the Queen of Swords showing up. She doesn't show up for no reason. She shows up because she's she's seen some things. But don't let that block you from, that's a part of that purification process. Remember I said purification in the beginning? I just remembered that I said that. It's about purifying and not letting those old situations, don't let them stop you from having experiences now. I still have romance cards here for you, so we'll see. But let's say, your experience has taught you that if you don't trust, then maybe put on rubber gloves right before you plug it into the wall. Because if you're so accustomed to getting electrocuted, then put on some protection first and take your time. And don't throw yourself into the next thing, but don't say no to it either. Don't reject it. Look at that. Look at his face. That is the creepiest, cutest kid. And that creepy cute kid is you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I really think that there's an offer that's coming in. Okay. Oh, wow. Calling in your soulmate. This is something that you've been wanting for a long time. And some of you guys are actually scared to call it in because you're like, last time I did that, I attracted a toad. Last time I did that, I attracted something similar to a soulmate, but it was actually the polar opposite. I bet. But that was last time. And haven't you evolved? That has been a part of your purification process. You've been sitting in solitude and now it's your time to shine. All right, you guys, honestly, freaking blessings for the month of November. Oh my God. Let's go ahead and do a energy read right now. Angels and guides from the highest lights of the universe, I ask that you be with each and every single one of us now. Divine, I thank you so much for guiding us to all come together now present in this moment to connect and to exchange messages and words of empowerment that so many of us need. I feel like we've been spinning, we've been spiraling. A lot of my tribe has because I feel that now. Part of it is because our senses have been pulling us in all different, different directions and we need to find solid ground again so that we can use our gifts and our talents and root them in something to help us to focus, to help us to manifest, to help feel things differently, experience things differently than we have ever, like that we haven't done before. 
I want to ask you angels and guides that you light us up in such a beautiful way. I want to ask that you protect us. I want to ask that you bless us. I ask that November be easy and effortless, that we trust ourselves, that we move from our hearts. I ask that you give us peace and contentment. I ask that you allow us to approach every day with gratitude. So much gratitude for the moment and so much gratitude for each other. Let us be abundant. Let us be expansive. Let us grow easy, effortlessly. Let every single person that watches this, watches this video, let their talents shine. Let them believe in themselves. Let them give themselves a chance. And let them be seen by the right people at the right time. Let them cross paths with the right people at the right time. Let there be growth. I don't know why I'm saying I'm seeing growth so much. Not growth of negative things and not growth, growth of festering things or infections, but things that will help you to thrive and feel healthy and vibrant. And that there's all of your needs, all of those needs are being provided for so that every single one of us is thriving. And let us feel the support of one another here within the Bahati Vibe Tribe. Let us feel the support of one another here within this circle. Let it be sacred, let it be good, let it be gold. Okay, so it is. Thank you guys so much. <sighs> wow, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I actually feel like I'm back to myself again. <laughs> that was really strong energy coming through for those readings, but it is what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I do want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. Um, feel free to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and then definitely leave any comments and love down below readings and um the apothecary and all other services will be linked in the description box and also probably pinned in a comment if i forget realize that that's typical until then you guys i'm sending you so much good energy because i still feel it <laughs> see you in my next video bye